C++ provides a way for defining our own custom deleters for the smart pointers. So why do we need a custom deleter? There may be situations where we would like to do more than just deleting the pointer. For example, we have a legacy code here, which has a class A, and it has allocated many resources. And then it defines one function release, where it will free all those resources in some custom way and it also provides the destructor. So the client code using this creates the pointer of this class then it calls the release method which will free out the resources and then ultimately call the delete which will call the destructor of the class. So if we want to now use the smart pointers in the client code and we write the smart pointer A and we don't provide a custom deleter, then it will use the default deleter where it will call the delete uh, on this pointer of type A and which will call the destructor. So this release method will never be called. So the resource deallocation will not be complete. So it will be partial and there will be memory leak. So we need a custom deleter in such situations. We can also uh, argue that why don't uh, include this release code inside the destructor itself. But it's a legacy code and we don't like to uh, make changes to it as many uh, other clients would also be using the same code. Now let's see how we can define our own custom deleter. So as far as syntax is concerned, there is some slight difference between shared pointer and unique pointer. So we will look at them separately. So first let's look for the shared pointer case. So here we have to provide the deleter in the constructor itself. So you can see that this part is new. Earlier we were not providing this. So when, when we don't provide this our own deleter, then it will use the default deleter. That, it will, that is it will call the delete on this uh, underlying pointer. So here we have provided our own deleter. So this will be called when claiming the resources. So it can be either a function pointer, like in this case, or it can be a lambda function where we will define here, here itself. And it can be a functor also where there is a class and it has the parenthesis operator defined. So let's see all of these cases one by one. So first let's see the function pointer case. So here we define a deleter function which will take a pointer of the same class as we are creating the smart pointer, the shared pointer. And here we can do whatever we want. We just inserted one log. Then we call some custom function on that class. This may be similar to this release function. And then finally when we are done with this pointer, we will call the delete on it. And here we just specify the function pointer. Next we will see the lambda function case. So the syntax is same. The only thing is that we are defining the function here itself using the lambda notation of the modern C++. So internally we are doing the same thing. We have just replaced the function pointer with the lambda function. Now let's see the functor. So here we define a class where we define the parenthesis operator and it will take a pointer of the same type as we are creating the shared pointer and the function body remains exactly the same as the earlier case. So here while specifying the deleter we will write the name of the class, the functor class and then this parenthesis operator. So uh, this parenthesis function that uh, the operator that we defined inside this functor it will be called while uh, clearing the resources by this shared pointer. So these are the three cases for shared pointer. Now let's see how we will call the custom deleter for unique pointer. So here also we will specify it in the constructor but here the deleter type the type of the function will be a part of the unique pointer type. So in earlier cases, we just used this uh, unique pointer and then the type of pointer 
and then we created the pointer. So here this is additional. So we specify the type of deleter. And then while uh, instantiating this pointer, we, we can provide the deleter in any of those ways. Like here we have used the lambda function. We could have also used the functor or the function pointer. So this part is additional that we need to specify the deleter type in the unique pointer type itself. So we see that uh, the custom deleter can be very useful in certain situations and uh, we should use it when required. So thanks for watching um, this video and don't forget to subscribe my channel for my future videos.